The what factory? Hey. Whose bloody idea was this? Make sure I charge my Garmin, make sure I've charged my lights Make sure we get those bars in 10 miles and I'll be more than starving Nothing compares to the thrill, underprepared for the hills I used to get wheels on air, now I put air in my wheels Change that tune, train and cruise, chain's been lewd Pace and move, Strava stats give man a heart attack But then my pace improves, bars and cadence are strong Now my legs up, my cadence are long It's about time we do this, it's the cycling tattooist What is up guys? If you're new here, my name's Thomas Martinez and welcome to the channel. And if you're regular, then welcome back. So you join me here in the absolutely beautiful town of Girona in Spain. Now, if you haven't seen the previous two videos to this, we've actually ridden from Alicante all the way here to Girona over the last six days and we had an absolute blast. It was definitely a journey that was filled with a lot of highs and a lot of lows. So if you're interested in finding out how we got on, then go watch those videos first and then come back and watch this one. But if you're anything like me and you're too excited to find out about what Girona has to offer, then this is the video for you. I cannot wait for this. I've been wanting to come to Girona for a long, long time. So let's get into it. We're here in Girona for two days and uh, today we're just treating ourselves to a nice easy spin after all those hard days on a bike. I think we deserve it. I wasn't even going to film today but we're doing something quite special today. What are we doing Ben? So over the years of watching cycling documentaries and YouTube videos, anyone that comes to Girona has to visit the Haribo factory. The what factory? Oh my god. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We can't come to Girona and not go to the Haribo factory, can we? Let's go! <laughs> Said, we're taking it super easy today I've been averaging 123 watts so far and that is just what the doctor ordered super excited to be going to the Haribo factory as uh, some of you may know I am a bit of a fan of Haribo unfortunately they still haven't hit me up for that sponsorship but come on guys just keep shouting about Pringles <laughs> but yeah plan for today just enjoy ourselves the weather is gorgeous and unfortunately tomorrow when we've got plans to do a bit bigger of a ride the weather isn't looking that great so yeah make the most of today and then just uh, cross our fingers and toes hope that uh, it's not too bad tomorrow and we can get out and do some real exploring just about 40 minutes into this ride and it's been absolutely lovely already <laughs> this uh, this place really is all what it's cracked up to be came prepared I'm definitely gonna be a couple of kilograms heavier on this ride back <laughs> he's been walking around this shop for about an hour not knowing what to purchase I've done it though I've made my trip he's like a child <laughs> in a candy shop yeah, look, ironically <laughs> do you get a lot of people in here filming Sorry? do you get a lot of people in here filming Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think my face is more than, than I thought. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> so I'm all loaded up with Harry Bow. I am one happy bunny. We are now on our way to cheeky little calf. Nice little coffee. I think we're going to uh, make sure this ride isn't any longer than, say, two hours today. Save those eggs for tomorrow. What an absolutely beautiful day. 
sun's out. Oh, it just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? This is what cycling adventures are all about. <laughs> Uh, it's a bit special, isn't it? Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Talk about calf stop with a view. If anyone from Quark's watching this, look what I'm doing. You never tag me or anything. <laughs> I'm shameless, aren't I? Yeah, you are. And it's nothing to do with the fact that I'm an absolute amateur and my GoPro's run out of battery. <laughs> Come on! As I was saying, yeah. <laughs> See, as I was saying, been a bit inspired by Lawrence because he's the man of many cameras. So yeah, I think I'm going to start trying to use different stuff in my videos. How's the quality on the phone, guys? Drop it. Yeah. Tell them how good it is. Yeah, let us know. He wasn't very keen to film on his phone, but <laughs> I think it looks cool. But yeah, let me know what you think. If it's good enough, then I'll start doing it a bit more often, mixing it up and not just using the GoPro. Mate, look at this. But yeah, it is quite handy to uh, capture stuff on uh, different cameras. And uh, well, especially in situations like this, when my GoPro's died, I can carry on filming. Happy days. <laughs> Back in Girona, these streets are absolutely beautiful. <laughs> it is something else, I'm telling you. If, you uh, if you've ever thought about coming to Girona, come do it. You are not going to be disappointed, I promise you. So yeah, hopefully tomorrow we will uh, get out on a nice decent route that takes in some of the uh, known climbs around here. And uh, yeah, I know there's a lot of amazing routes. Very, very famous uh, for a lot of pro cyclists come here and they're off season. So yeah, you know, that means the roads are going to be pretty epic. Let's get out of this kit. <laughs> so we have been back to the apartment and now me and Ben are on a little bit of a mission. We're going to pop to a local bike shop called Eat Sleep Cycle, which is uh, conveniently 30 second walk from our apartment as we both need to get some bike boxes because in two days time, we're actually flying home. We need to be able to pack up the bikes again, send them back on a plane and uh, pray to the cycle gods that they don't get broken <laughs> in a couple boxes again. Famous last words, hey, that was. It's not as risky though on the way home, is it? Because you know, well, you can get stuff fixed. Well, I suppose, yeah. But in any circumstance, it's not gonna be much uh, fun having your bike broke. So yeah, that's the plan for now. So as you can see, we've managed to obtain ourselves two bike boxes. All we need to do now is get ourselves some uh, duct tape and some other bits and bobs and we'll be sorted. As you can see, we're now in the evening, the sun has gone. And uh, well, once we get rid of these boxes, we'll uh, load up on some food, take in some more of the sights. And then tomorrow it will be time for our last ride before we go home. Quite sad. It has been an amazing trip, but yeah, really looking forward to getting out tomorrow and really enjoying Girona. Ah, oh, this place is mega. Anyways, I'll leave you guys there. I won't bore you anymore with my errands and I'll see you in the morning for the fun stuff. <laughs> So we're out 
out on the road and unfortunately, as you can see, the three amigos are only two. Me and Lawrence are getting out. We've had to leave Ben back at the apartment because, uh, well, his knee's giving him some jip, isn't it? Yeah. He's, uh, yeah, he's not in a good way, bless him. Hopefully he feels better soon. But uh, like great friends we are, we've left him to it. <laughs> and we've got out and uh, we're gonna have some fun. So yeah, we're gonna uh, take in a bit of Girona. And there's one thing on the list in particular, we're gonna hit the famous Els Angels. Let's get into it. Alex Dowsett has <laughs> popped up on the thing. <laughs> Should we, should we make that the thing? We try and beat Alex Dowsett. <laughs> so we're actually on the climb right now. And uh, very nice so far. We're only, <laughs> we're only a few hundred feet into it, but it's very pretty. I can only imagine it gets better towards the top. Tell them what we're doing. What are we doing? Well, we're just gonna, you know, the climb happens to be like literally 2K from town. So obviously that's not enough to warm up. So we're gonna go and wreck it a little bit. And come back. <laughs> Got to figure out what punishment we're getting ourselves in for. Have you ever done this before? No, I don't think I have, you know. Oh. I always go out the north side of Drona. Oh. I've never been out this the other side. So. Well, there you go. Be a bit blind for both of us then. Some quick stats on the climb. It is 6.29 miles long and it manages to rack up 1,129 feet in that uh, distance. Average grade of 3.4%, which sounds bloody easy, but it's definitely not going to be easy. It's one of those climbs where it's got quite a bit of a flat. Obviously that affects the average grade. So there is going to be some punchy bits. Let's see if we can hang on. The calm is 20 minutes. How close to that do you think you're going to get? 20 minutes? <laughs> oh, we'll do it in 10 easy. <laughs> Freddy Ovet, that is. What were they doing? 20 minutes. <laughs> well, what's our guess is? 25? Uh, I would is say that... a little bit faster than that. Yeah? But not much. Well, there you go. We're aiming for somewhere between 20 and 25 minutes. See where we can place on the old leaderboard and uh, see if ex-pro Lawrence here drops me. <laughs> Man, what a cool climb though. It's like, it's like the old uh, bit of spaghetti laid along the uh, mountainside. Lovely. It probably won't look as pretty when we've got sweat pouring into our eyes. All part of the fun. Good thing is we've had six or seven days worth of easy-ish riding well i say easy -ish, it wasn't easy at all but <laughs> but no real effort so in theory we should have good legs so we'll give it a good crack i've uh, made sure i'm all fueled up this morning smashed a coffee we had a bowl of porridge with uh, some oreos crushed in it, <laughs> Rose, it? that's a little bit of a uh, porridge hack for you if you want to sweeten your porridge chuck some oreos in it Delicious. We got water, we got milk, we got tea, but we got no sugar. <laughs> so we're just at the bottom again now. We uh, spun around, did a little warm up. Nice to descend it, it was good fun. But now comes the painful part. Let's give it hell. Good. Yeah. Seconds up on Dowsett. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are.
One minute below the comm already. <laughs> what an animal. five up on doubt it so for anyone that's done this climb before you'll know there's a middle bit that eases up quite a bit there's even some descents in it even though Lawrence is absolutely ripping my legs off, this is a little moment to try and recover a little bit before it wraps back up again. As you may notice, I'm not wearing a heart rate monitor today and I don't think I'd really want to see my heart rate right now, to be honest. I'm definitely in the red and we've got three miles to go. Oh, whose bloody idea was this? Oh, oh you're right. You're right, Lawrence. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's okay. Oh. oh, well, that didn't go to plan. Oh. Hello. Yeah, yeah, we did crash, but we're okay. You got cut too? Yeah. Wow, you got a bunch here too. Really good. Thank you. You're very welcome. Just a bit much on there. Ah. Well, thanks so much for stopping. You're very well, welcome. Can you get your bike working? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm sure it's fine. So, we've come to the conclusion that this is the culprit. And we slid all the way along there. Ah, just one of those things. We're both okay. That's the main thing. Thanks very much to those guys for stopping. I'd say we've come off relatively all right. <laughs> it it oh. could be worse though, couldn't it? Could have gone off the mountain, mate. Luckily, we wasn't actually that far up. So we wouldn't have had too far to fall. <laughs> well, I guess we'll never know if we'll beat Alex Dowsett or not. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to limp home. <laughs> and, uh, well, I'll uh, catch up with you guys in a bit. When we're not finished, so sorry for ourselves. <laughs> back in the morning. Do you know what? I don't actually like watching this back. <laughs> I really don't like it. It's all right. Here we go, ready? Oh, I actually put my hands off the bars to say slow down. You're not going fast at all, are you? No. No. It is that wet patch. Yeah, it is. Yeah, of course it is. That tire you're crashing the tire. You can see your back tire hits that little bit. So I've been back to the apartment and uh, I've had a shower, cleaned up. Feeling a lot better now. But as you can see, I'm uh, rocking this sweet gangster look. <laughs> yeah, obviously ended up finishing the day a little bit earlier than anticipated. So just going for a little wander, taking a bit more of Girona. Alex Dowsett, you're safe for now. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get three chocolate croissants, please? I'll have one. Please. Okay, four then. Is that a pan of chocolate? It's a little bit pan of chocolate, but the chocolate is a little bit different because it's okay. more sweet and milky. Yeah, all right. Can I get one of them as well, yeah. please? What's the triangle one? Exactly the same, but the dog is a little bit different because okay. it's more crunchy. It's like a croissant minefield. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> is it to 
today is our last day here in Girona. Unfortunately, things ended the way they did. I'm not gonna sit here and dwell on it too much. It's just one of those things. It really could have happened to anyone. I don't wanna bring down this trip. It has been amazing. I've had such a good time. And yeah, like I say, it's just unfortunate it's ended the way it has. I didn't quite get to see as much of Girona as I wanted to, but let's just say that gives me a good excuse to come back and check it out again. Even though I haven't seen much of Girona, from what I have seen, it is such an amazing place. It is so, so beautiful. There's so much culture. The food is great. So if it's somewhere you've been thinking about coming, I urge you to come check it out. One more thing I want to say as well is, if you were ever in a situation like I was, before I came on this trip, I didn't know Ben or Lawrence. I took a chance and I thought, let's go out and have an adventure. And believe me, it paid off. I urge you to do the same. If ever you get an opportunity like that, just take it. I promise you, you won't regret it. Anyways, talking to the guys, let's go catch up with them and see what they have to say. Come on, buddy. <laughs> have you enjoyed yourself? Mate. I definitely enjoyed it myself. That's what I said earlier, didn't I, when I said, when we were walking through Toronto, and I said, when I invited you on it, I didn't know how it would go, what the dynamic would be. And you said, it's exactly what you thought it was going to be. Yeah, I think it's been amazing. So I think we've been a pretty good team. Mm -hmm. We have. We've, we've, got, uh, we've, we've got each other through some pretty bad times. Would you yeah. do it again? Oh, mate, in a heartbeat. Where? Well, that's the question. There has actually been some talk already about us doing something else. Put, put some yeah. Down, yeah. If you have any suggestions for us, where you want us to go, <laughs> drop them in the comments. Warm, dry. <laughs> <laughs> worst bit, best bit. Oh my God. I mean, my worst bit for sure was <laughs> that day when it was just so cold. Just before we stopped in that little restaurant, Oh, oh, mate, I wanted to quit cycling there and then. <laughs> and that, that was the <laughs> I think the, my favorite leg because I overcome stuff was the one where we descended from that shop and was doing 40 plus mile an hour. And I was like at the highest cadence I could be at to keep up with you. I think that was my yeah. best day because for me, I never thought I'd get through that. Yeah, we learned a few lessons, didn't we mate, on this one? Yeah, for sure. But I don't think I had a worse bit. I think, I think the worst bits make you better, so. I am. Mean, it's type two fun, isn't it? Yeah. You finish and it and you feel proud that you've done it, but it hurt. And yeah, like like Lawrence says, you you got you got to take these things and learn from them, haven't you? You know, mm -hmm. find out where you went wrong and then do it better next time. Yeah, definitely. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed these episodes. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs>